Welcome to Fancy Nancy Eats. So today we will be making nuestras aguas frescas. Find it like aguas frescas. Aguas frescas are natural waters. Natural waters is what we say. Agua natural flavored, okay? It's just a basically a flavored sweet drink that we drink. Uh, instead of drinking Cokes, uh, we do aguas frescas. Okay, so I'm really excited about this because I'm obsessed, obsessed with aguas frescas. I always have agua de Jamaica, almost always here in my house. So what kind of waters are we going to be making today? So we're making el agua de horchata, which is a rice water. Very easy. Mm -hmm. uh, we're making cantaloupe water, which we call it agua de melon. Uh, we're also making a piña, fresh piña, and a pickle with lemon. Ah! Um, lime. I'm sorry. Yeah, so lime. it's hard for us to because yes. lemon and lime are the same thing for us in Spanish. So, and then like I said, our aguas frescas. So this is hibiscus uh, flour. It's a hibiscus flour, and you can find it at any of your Mexican or Hispanic supermarkets. Anyway, so we're gonna get started. Uh, what are we gonna start on for? Oh, we missed the one, the agua de tamarindo, <gasps> oh, which is tamarind how did water. We forget this one. Yeah, tamarinds. Tamarinds, tamarindo, agua de tamarindo, that was mm -hmm. really yeah. good. So what we're gonna start, we're gonna start uh, putting the stuff that go on the stove first, cause that might take a little bit longer, uh, which is gonna be our hibiscus and our tamarind. So these are our tamarinds, and what we're doing is we're basically peeling it off to tell if it is actually a good tamarind and if they are fresh, the lines are very easy to peel and just pull back. That one was quick. So here's another one. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see how it looks without you taking it off. Looks like this. Okay. And it has the shell, the hard shell over it. This is the hard shell. So this is six cups of water. And we're just gonna pour it into our tamarindo. So that is ready to come to a boil. Okay, so it's in there complete. And there's about a pound, a pound of tamarind. This is a cup and a half of our hibiscus. Um, we've already pre-measured it. It's in there. And we're also going to add six cups in there. And we're going to also bring it to a boil. So these are ingredients for the agua de horchata. Again, rice water. In Espanol, agua de horchata. Okay. So we've got pre-soaked our rice. So I have pre-rinsed this rice. Um, and I poured on here about four cups of water. This is just the liquid here. Here comes the rice. How much rice is it? Uh, so before we continue, this is my rice bag. This is what I use. It is the extra long enriched rice. This is one pound. I'm holding it. <laughs> my arm hurts. I'm not like a huge agua dorcheta fan. Not huge. I used to drink it until, I don't know, I just kind of stopped, so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna blend it. Um, I'm gonna try and blend it, blend it as much as I can, and then I'm gonna strain it. Okay, so we're gonna strain it two ways, and the reason I do it two ways is because rice, once it's done its whole nine, uh, once it's settled, yeah, once it's settled, it kind of it's gonna stay at the bottom, but of course, the taste is definitely the rice. So, I'm gonna put my cheese cloth, my cheese cloth <laughs> <laughs> under my strainer, and this is a pretty fine strainer, anyways. But we're still gonna do it. Looks like milk, right? Raise it up. What do you think? Yeah, do you see any chunks in there? Nope. Like cow's milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're adding a can of uh, Nestle Carnation. It is optional. If you're lactose intolerant, this is probably not the drink for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna put that one can. We're gonna add milk. And this milk, I've already pre-measured it. It is two cups of milk. 
or carnation milk. So carnation milk and that was regular like whole milk? Yes. Okay. So we're also gonna add some ground cinnamon powder. How much? About two or three. There you go. That, and that, when I say two or three, that's about two or three tablespoons, okay? <laughs> All right, so it doesn't matter what kind of condensed sweet, condensed milk you add, but this basically, what it does, it, it replaces the sugar. It smells so good already. <laughs> uh, some people still add sugar after that. Me. <laughs> but I do not. Anyhow, the next thing is we're gonna put some vanilla extract. We're gonna add, um, Two tablespoons, okay? If I ever go to your restaurant, if you own a restaurant and I ever go to it, I like my, I was sweet. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's alive. Yeah. So again, we got condensed milk. We've got evaporated milk. We've got a regular of whole, uh, two cups of whole milk and three, um, tablespoons of cinnamon and two of vanilla. And the reason we blended it is because it is a little bit harder once you get it into your... Um, it's easier to mix instead of like using the whisk to do, yeah. do it yourself. So you just pour it in here. So did you bring the strawberries? Oh, you I forgot. did not bring the strawberries. So I told Erica we should do agua de horchata with strawberries. Yeah. But all you really would do would blend the strawberries and add it to it. It's really and some people like a hole in there. Or so basically. Yeah, like infused. Mm -hmm. So uh, the last ingredient we just throw in, and it's really basically to make it look good. <laughs> we throw in a piece of cinnamon in there. All right, guys. So it's, we got mason jars to put them in. So first one. Agua de horchata, pour. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you have a party, birthday party, baby shower, wedding, yeah. anything, and you want to make these, they have the bigger mason jars too. How much did these mason jars cost? Uh, so those mason jars were about $16, $17, and it comes about six. Six. Six of them, and this is about mm -hmm. what? Um, a little bit more than, a, it's about seven, seven cups if you fill it up to the rim, so yeah. about seven cups. Okay, so we're done with our out. Of course, the taste test. Wait, do we want straws? No. Okay. So we added a little bit of ice, make it a little bit refreshing. Salud. Mm, I could drink this one. Yeah. I like that we drained, uh, we strained the, the rice because it's not so thick. I think that's why I stopped drinking our chata to begin with because I didn't like the consistency of it. This is really good. Yeah. This is a miracle. She hardly ever drinks some of those chata. I really like it. Uh, rice water, but mm -hmm. um, definitely if you don't want it so concentrated, you are more than welcome to add more water to it mm -hmm. and also more sugar. But that's up to you how you like your agua de horchata. Okay, Nancy. So what happened to your shirt, by the way? That horchata. <laughs> I, knew, I knew I had problems with horchata. Now I know why. <laughs> so it's all over me. Excuse me. So. Anyhow, but we are doing the tamarindo. Yeah, so this has been boiling in here for a good 28 minutes. And it's so soft that with my whisk, I'm going and, and pushing it down. And so this is gonna make it easier to take that seat out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go, and actually you can go ahead and turn your uh, turn it off. You can also, so I'm a firm believer on adding sugar when the water is warm because it diffuses if you take amp you should know about this but it's easier for you to go ahead and add your your sugar when the water is warm so now we're ready to put our tamarind again we let it boil for almost 20 30 minutes 30 minutes okay and the reason we did that is to make it get real soft and it's easier to take out the seeds and that's what we've done so now we're just gonna pour it in our blender. It is thick. Remember, I did say it was a thick tamarind. Um, it is gonna have quite a bit of pulp in there. So if you're bothered by pulp, so not drink it. <laughs> that, Unless, or, I mean, you can you can blend it first and then strain it. We yes. only blend it. We don't strain it because we like we like the pulp of it. But. So we're gonna add water to that. We're gonna add four cups of water in here. Okay, so this again, the only reason we're, some people like it sweeter, 
she does uh, some people like it just tangy not too much this one is a sour drink if you do not put sugar so if you want it sugar add sugar if you want it sweet i'm sorry you add sugar if you don't you don't right now i'm gonna put half a cup of sugar if you don't add sugar to it you're just weird <laughs> because tamarind is not naturally sweet it's like it has like a tangy taste so we added half a cup of sugar okay so we're just gonna pour it into our lar extra large mason jar here again we did not strain it so you can see all the thickness all right mm. Ooh, that looks good and this color is actually uh, it's gonna get darker than this light brown to a dark brown yeah. but as much pulp as we have in there it's gonna be pretty brown mm -hmm. okay all right so taste test so for just for us to try it, I went ahead and strained mine and we left yours pulpy. So yep. it looks almost practically the same. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. I like mine's a little bit tangy. It is very tangy, but it's really good. I don't like it overly sweet. And I do like it. I can sweets. have more sugar. To me, it's That's perfect. Nice. This is me. <laughs> this reminds me of the raspados de tamarindo, mm. the thick miel. We're going to have to make. Yeah, the syrup. The I, fun fact, I used to sell snow cones. <laughs> we were always uh, hustling when we were little, mm -hmm. always trying to make something mm. uh, to make an extra buck. And that was one thing we did, snow cones on the side. <laughs> Tell me why I keep drinking it, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it is the hardest, hardest critic. <laughs> and he's ready. <laughs> Kia pa. <laughs> Um, but he wants more look. You know what it's gonna do to him at night? Yeah, it's gonna make him go. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's gonna be a pretty good thing to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do our hibiscus water called Agua de Jamaica. Yep. So this one is not very so difficult. So simple. Very it's so simple. simple. You boil the flour in the water and that's all and you add sugar. It's, literally. It's a dry flour, yeah. by the way. Okay, don't forget to strain it. Strain it because you don't want the flour in there. And then also just be careful because this is kind of warm. And this is a perfect time to add your sugar when it's warm so it can dissolve easier. So. And you can see the flour and I'm gonna grab it with my hand. Again, this is a flour, okay? This one's a full one, you can see it. It's basically a full, it looks like a little mini rose. So I will, um, just a tip because I've done hibiscus water for so long, it can stain your stuff, like your cabinets if they're white. So this, this is laminate, it doesn't matter, but just if you have any um, kitchen items that can be stained easily, be very careful with the hibiscus water because it will stain. We're going to add three fourths of a cup of sugar and then taste it after that. But we're adding the sugar to the hibiscus water right now because it's warm. And then we'll add our water. So go ahead and, and add the sugar. So we'll do three of these because they're one fourth. Again, this one can also be tangy. Now, again, I love my waters, but if they're too, too sweet, I do not enjoy them. Okay, so we're gonna add our room temperature water. And we added four cups. Now remember when you're boiling this, water will evaporate. So even though we added what, six cups over there, yes. it's not gonna come out with six cups. I think we came out with four, because yeah. it evaporated. And it's pretty red, as you can tell. Um, it's almost like a maroon, maroonish color, yeah. okay? Uh, so we're gonna pour it in our mason jar. This is, actually very doesn't have strains it i love it this mm -hmm. water look how pretty that yeah. is transparent this this is my favorite water and that's why i make it all the time and it's so easy to make and my baby's asking me for some he wants right. to try it already <laughs> yeah. look at that that's so pretty it's it like looks... a deep purple red maroonish yeah huh. it's Ooh, beautiful i love that all right 
Think about how affordable this was to make. Uh, we still have half of the bag left, so it costs a dollar. And just whatever you want to have. I mean, you have sugar on hand, you have water on tap, so it costs a dollar to make. It was about a four ounce bag, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, we still have a good so, half a bag left. So basically a dollar to make. Yeah. And if you don't want it as concentrated, again, you can definitely add water, yeah. more water to yeah. it and sugar. And I know a lot of restaurants do that. So they can have more, but if you want a good customer, don't cut corners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you might get a bad review from us. <laughs> mm. And before anybody asks me, I got this. Uh, I think it's from Princess House that my mom gave me. All right. So. Mm. I know what she's gonna say. She more wants sugar. more sugar. To me, it's great. I like it. So, I'm gonna add more sugar to mine. This is good. All right, now we have our agua de melon, cantaloupe water. Cantaloupe water, okay? So all we got, we're gonna do here is basically uh, cut it to put it in our blender, okay? Now there's no reason this has to be to any specific order or look like whatever okay okay so she has her cantaloupe cut um so she doesn't add seeds i personally add my seeds to it i saw this being done in mexico years ago when i was younger and i don't know it kind of stuck with me and it works i mean all and my water yeah it, it really is it and if you don't work. have like i like i've mentioned before if you don't have a vitamix that like literally cuts down every seed then you can strain it but you don't even have to strain it i've, I've done this multiple times so let's go ahead and get that cut okay my knives are really sharp she has to be careful because they might look small but they're kind of sharp So again, we're going to leave the seeds in there. Um, it is everybody's personal preference. If you got that Vitamix, use it. If you don't, you can take them out. All right. Take there's, them out or strain it. There's really no purpose of leaving it or not leaving it, but it does have a lot of yumminess still in there, okay? And there's no certain way of cutting this. It's just depends on your blender how much it can uh blend in or not okay so we have four uh four cups of water one whole cantaloupe and now we're gonna go ahead and add some sugar uh on a personal note cantaloupe is sometimes pretty sweet it doesn't need sugar now again this person here loves you don't it. have to say that with I everything we do yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna add the sugar <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and add i would go ahead and add a cup Okay, we're gonna add a cup of sugar here. So there's one, two, three. And quit. She's cheating here. She's only adding the half, so it won't be that sweet. I need you to add the whole thing. Huh. Cheater. Cup of sugar, four cups of water, and a whole cantaloupe. You don't want to strain it unless you really don't like the pulp. But, I mean, there's hardly any pulp in there. I mean, this blends it up so good. Look, look at that. That smells real good. Literally, if you look in there, you will not see any seeds. It's crazy. It blends it so good. So, there's it's that. so pretty. Get our cups, and we're going to go ahead and try this. It smells real good. Did y'all just see that? <laughs> She's... <laughs> This is hers, and this is mine. Okay. I'll give you some. I'll give you some. Uh-huh. Only enough. because the camera is there, or she would not be giving me any. All right. I just love my own And this is a little bit thick, not too, too much. Again, you don't want it so thick. Strain it, add more water, more sugar, whatever you want. But this, this is, is good. And if you want to make it more what abundance for more people with that same 
with the same jar you can even go ahead and add what even three to four more cups of and you just taste it with the sugar it is a little bit sweet for me but it is not awful it is not sweet it's just perfect and the another thing to keep in mind ice waters it down so if, if you put ice inside your like for example your mason jar or your hara your pitcher yeah your pitcher you want to make sure that you equivalent the sugar ratio to it all right i've lost track this is our one two three four this is our fifth water Woo. Okay. so what we're going to start is with one whole cucumber um i personally like to just take off a little bit of the excess um off of it not a whole lot as you can tell on my cucumber anyhow just throw it in there we're gonna blend the cucumber by itself first. Again, this is a cucumber lemon water. Now, I know this is something great for a lot of people who uh, usually like to do their infused waters. This is something really good and you don't have to add sugar mm -hmm. to this one. So how much water did you add in here? Two cups. Two cups. Are you trying to do like a math test on me? <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Look at that Pretty. consistency, that green. Looks good. Mm. All right. So the next thing we're going to add is our limes. All we did to our limes was cut it. Okay? We didn't do anything special to it. Just cut it in half. There's five limes. We're going to throw it in here. With two cups of water so we are going to strain the limes okay i can smell that citrus from far away mm. so erica kept telling me about this water and i refused to try it because i just had no faith in her <laughs> and i finally tried it and it's really really good okay so we're gonna add another four cups of water to here and our sugar okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar to here okay we're gonna put a cup of sugar <laughs> it's late <laughs> <laughs> and we do argue about our sugar so let's see her cheating i will not just because this one's a little bit more sour yeah i've got to agree on this one so and again if you're at home and you don't want to put sugar don't this is a, I didn't mention granulated sugar, nothing organic about that. Uh, you can add honey, you can add piloncillo, brown sugar, you can add Thank any you. sweetener, sweeteners, even stevia. Okay, so we mixed our sugar, now we're gonna add the four cups of water. That looks good, mm -hmm. green. By the way, Nessie has a lot of cups. A lot, <laughs> a lot of cups. I tend to lose them at my house. She gave me some. I literally donated her a box of cups. I was gonna say, oh, where do I get so many cups for my wedding? I still have cups for my wedding. <laughs> All right, you see that pretty color? Mm -hmm. You can see some of that cucumber in there. So, mm. you know, I actually wouldn't mind more lemon. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, it is good. It's really good. Really. This is really not very pulpy. Uh, it's mm, pretty it's good. Not, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my number one for today. Really? Mm -hmm. And she didn't like it. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Last but not least, agua de piña, pineapples, pineapple water. So while Erica's washing dishes, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the pineapple. Okay, so we have our pineapple cut. How many cups of water are you gonna add? Okay, in? we're gonna add four cups of water in there. I've got six here, but we're only gonna add four. Four cups of water, a whole pineapple, sugar. Uh, we're gonna add sugar, but we're only gonna add half a cup, just because pineapple does tend to be very sweet. And I pretty much did look for one that was pretty sweet. And the way I found that is because it was pretty yummy. <laughs> 
So you want to you want it to be yellow, and it looks kind of like if it's overdone. That's the sweetest you'll find. And the greener, the uh, more tart it's gonna be. All right, so we have our water ready. So it does have a lot of foam, and I'll show y'all what to do with the foam. Ooh, that looks good, huh? That smells really good. Um, we are gonna add the other remaining two cups of water in here. Sometimes it's not necessary, but right now we, we are. And we're just gonna mix it up right there. So what you do with the foam is, you see it all coming up? You're gonna wait till it settles up. You don't have to do this. You can just like literally get your spoon before serving it, but all that foam comes off. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and take some of it out. So as you can tell, it's starting to come right up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our foam has came up. So we're gonna take some of that foam out. Yeah. It's not necessary for you to do it, but if you don't want your water foamy, I know I've tasted some Brazilian water. Oh, and it's yeah. actually mostly foam. It is mostly foam. But it is very delicious. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty similar to this section. You don't, it's up to you how much you want to take out. Mm -hmm. I think that might be. I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look at that. It's delicious. And you can strain this as well, just like all the other ones. You can strain it or leave it as. So let's go ahead and pour it in our jar. Mm, mm -hmm. Look at that color. How pretty is that? You'll be the envy of everyone if you do all these waters for your birthday party or, you know, any party. <laughs> together. Yeah. Another thing that I have not mentioned, some of these waters are very good in liquor. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Just you can like, actually do this uh, piña colada. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So let's try it. All right. All right. So we're tasting our agua de piña. <coughs> and I'm not gonna do what Nancy did to me. Give but, it a little bit. Mm -hmm, look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I told you half a cup. Okay, so this is half a cup of sugar, remember? It is actually not uh, overly powerly. Mm -hmm. Actually, sweet. this is perfect. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. And what? Yeah. You said that was perfect? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. It's really good. Really, really good. Oh, it only took us five hours to do this. I'm kidding. These are all super simple, fast, and easy. I mean, it took us a while to do it just because we have literally six waters that we made. So, and take in mind, we have a we lot have going breaks, on. We have we have my son, we have her yeah. crybaby son. You know, we have everybody here. <laughs> okay, so this is our agua de tamarindo, agua de piña, agua de jamaica. Agua de limón y pepino, agua de melón, and agua de horchata. So, agua means waters. So, so, this is a rice water, cantaloupe water, cucumber and lime, hibiscus, pineapple, and tamarind. Yeah. Anyways, this is the end of our Aguas Frescas video. Thank you for watching. If you like what you're watching, don't forget to like our video, comment, and share. And you know what? You would really be helping us out if you subscribe. So don't forget to subscribe. We have a bunch of new subscribers in the last week. So we have a bunch of new subscribers. So we're very, very happy. Thank you for all your support. Thank you to everybody who's watching us. If you watch us and you are not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps us out. So thank you for watching us. Anything you want to say? Nope. Don't forget so. to subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. So thank you for watching. Until the next video, and if you have any recommendations or anything you want us to try, don't forget to comment them down below. And until next time. And cut. <laughs>